It seems to me that the artist struggle for his integrity is a kind of metaphor, must be considered as a metaphor for the struggle which is universal and daily of all human beings on the face of this terrifying globe to get to become human beings. It is not your fault, and it is not my fault that I write. I would never become before you in the position of a complainant for doing something that I must do. What we might get at this evening if we are lucky, if the mic doesn't fail, if my voice holds out, if you ask me questions, is what the importance of this effort is. It would seem to me that, how arrogant this may sound, I want to suggest two propositions. The first one is that the poets, by which I mean all artists, are finally the only people who know the truth about us. Soldiers don't, statesmen don't, priests don't, union leaders don't. Only the poets, that's my first proposition. The second proposition is what I really want to get at tonight. And it sounds mystical, I think, in a country like ours and at a time like this. But something awful is happening to a civilization when it ceases to produce poets, and what is even more crucial, when it ceases anywhere whatever to believe in the report that only poets can make. People, millions of people, whom you will never see, who don't know you, never will know you, people who may try to kill you in the morning, live in a darkness which if you have that funny, terrible thing which every artist can recognize and no artist can define, you are responsible to those people to lighten that darkness and it does not matter what happens to you. You are being used in the way a crab is useful, the way sand certainly has some function. It is impersonal. This force which you didn't ask for and this destiny which you must accept is also your responsibility and if you survive it, if you don't cheat, if you don't lie, it is not only you know, your glory, your achievement. It is almost our only hope. Because only an artist can tell, and only artists have told, since we have heard of man, what it is like for anyone who gets this planet to survive it. What it is like to die, or to have somebody die. What it is like to fear death, what it is like to fear, what it is like to love, what it is like to be glad. Hymns don't do this. Churches really cannot do it. The trouble is that although the artist can do it, the price that he has to pay himself and that you, the audience, must also pay is the willingness to give up everything to realize that although you spent 27 years acquiring this house, this furniture, this position, although you spent 40 years raising this child, these children, nothing, none of it belongs to you. You can only have it, you can only have it by letting it go. You can only take 
if you are prepared to give. And giving is not an investment. It is not a day at the bargain counter. It is a total risk of everything, of you, of who you think you are, who you think you'd like to be, where you think you'd like to go, everything. And this forever, 